microphone and the and camera. And the works are right. <laughs> the last one's really going to throw off the editing. <laughs> um, all right, so philosophic doubt. Uh, it's a tenet, it's a position, it's an attitude um, in that that, sci that current science takes. Current science? <laughs> See? Philosophic doubt. <laughs> you think I know what I'm talking about. You shouldn't. Um, maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Philosophic doubt. See? Anyway, philosophic doubt. The, the attitude of the tenet that scientific knowledge, and sometimes people throw in the word theory in there, but I don't like it, that scientific knowledge needs to be continually questioned nonstop. I mean nonstop. Uh, a better way to think of it is everything we've ever known has always proven not to be wrong, which sounds weird. Kind of, right? To some degree. So let me give you an example. So the idea is that we always question the current knowledge and we move on, right? We learn more, right? Um, and having that constant questioning allows us to grow. We never accept that where we're at is the perfect end stage of full explanation. So um, a current example in the news is a migration of humans through North America. Historically, we thought, oop, we crossed the land bridge, right? The Bering Strait land bridge, and then, oop, stuck because of the, the glaciers. And then part of the glaciers melted, and it was called the Clovis Passage or the Clovis Route or something like that. And people moved down. Well, they've recently found out that that's not true. The migration just happened a little bit further to the west. West, wherever, you know, camera backwards. Uh, anyway, to the west. Uh, they cruised in along the, uh, along the coast. So the Clovis Passage argument is gone. We revised our understanding of human migration because of philosophic doubt.